What's up guys, my name's Brandon and today I'll be showing you how to set any song as your ringtone or text tone on iOS 13 completely free and without the need of a computer or a jailbreak. Now I did make a similar video last year about how to do this on iOS 12, but this video is going to be specific for iOS 13. So if you are still on iOS 12 or lower, go ahead and check that video out because that one is going to work better for you. It's up in the cards right now and also down in the description below. But thanks to iOS 13 and the awesome additions to the Safari application, our web browser, this is going to be much easier now in iOS 13 than it was in iOS 12. All right, so let's not waste any time. Let's jump straight into it. So like I mentioned, unlike with iOS 12, we don't need a web browser application like Aloha browser like we did in iOS 12, because now in iOS 13 with Safari, we have a download manager built in to stock iOS. So iOS 13 has a download manager, so we don't need a separate application for that. So the only thing we'll need to download now is going to be GarageBand. So if you don't have GarageBand downloaded, go ahead to the App Store and download GarageBand. It should be a free download. If it's not, or if it's grayed out or anything like that, check the link down in the description below. It should help you get that for free. So as GarageBand is downloading, you need to determine what song you want to use for your ringtone or your text tone. Now you can use any song in your Apple Music library. So if you do have a lot of music here in your Apple Music library, you can use any song in there, or you can also download songs online, which is gonna be the differentiating factor between this iOS 13 tutorial and the iOS 12 tutorial. So if you do have the song that you wanna use in your Apple Music library already, this process will be super, super simple. But if you want to download a song that you don't have in your library it'll also be simple but there is just an additional step needed and that's going to be going into safari so you just want to go to google and then type in whatever song you want followed by mp3 so you can see there i just put ncs which is no copyright sounds just because i don't want to get in any kind of copyright issues with this but you guys get the gist of what you can do here just put in the song followed by mp3 i'm not going to show that but it will take you to a trusted website hopefully you'll click on one of the trusted websites and you want to just go and click on this and you can see here i have a bunch of mp3s that i can choose from on this website right here so i'm just going to go ahead and click on the fifth one right here and since it is a dot mp3 you can see i get this prompt now in ios 13. do you want to download this and just go ahead and click on download and then you will see up in the top right you get your little download manager icon right there if we go ahead and tap on that you will see we have our downloads right here and if you want to see where they are being downloaded to just go and click on the little magnifying glass right there it will take you to your files application and you will see exactly the folder that it's downloading these files too. So it's in my downloads folder right now in my iCloud drive. So that's exactly where I want it to be. So now once you have that, once you have the song downloaded or if you already had the song in your Apple Music library, we're just gonna go ahead into GarageBand, open that on up and you should see this screen when you launch GarageBand. So from here, you just want to go ahead and scroll over until you see audio recorder. So you can see right here, audio recorder, go ahead and tap on that. Then you will get this little prompt right here, go ahead and click on okay. And now we wanna to go to the top left right here where you see these little grid icons right there we're gonna go ahead and tap on that that will take us to this right here so we now have a blank space where our song is gonna go and then before we even import our song go ahead and tap on the metronome right here disable that otherwise you will get some really annoying clicking noises and I want to prevent you guys from hearing that and not knowing how to disable it so go ahead and disable the metronome after that we want to go ahead and click on this little loops icon over here in the top right you can see a little loop right there beside the wrench go ahead and tap on that so once you've clicked on the Omega icon right there you will see this right here so we have Apple loops files and music so if you have the music Music in your music library already go ahead and tap on music right here then you can just go to songs and go ahead and choose whatever song you want very simply right there now if you downloaded a song from Safari and you download it to your files application like I just showed you you'll just go over to files browse items from files application and then it should populate in your recents right there but if it doesn't you can just go ahead to browse and then go to the folder which I just showed you how to see but for me it's going to be this one right here which I just downloaded right there so if we go ahead and tap on that so just give it a few seconds and then it will populate right there then we want to just go ahead and tap and hold on this and drag it onto our timeline just like so and by the way guys when I mentioned that you can use songs from your Apple Music library I meant songs that were actually like downloaded from the computer and then put into your Apple Music library not just songs that were there and you saved to your playlist and things like that so you can see I have all these songs grayed out 
because these are songs that were just from Apple Music that I just saved to my library that way. But those won't work, but you can see here that podcasts do, and also songs that you download uh, straight from your computer and then sync it over to your iPhone. But if you do have songs that were you know locally stored on your iPhone, you can go ahead and get that onto your timeline the same way. So just tap and hold, and then drag it over to the timeline just like so. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this one right here. So we have our song, the original song right there. Now we wanna go ahead and tap on this little plus icon in the top right. That should open up this little panel right here where it says section A, eight bars. We wanna change that eight bars all the way to 30. So we want this to be 30 bars, which means 30 seconds of music. So 30 seconds is the maximum allowed for a ringtone. So we're gonna go ahead and set that over to 30 bars. Then we'll go back. And then you can see you can see your timeline adjust itself to 30 bars. Now comes the fun part of trimming the song up and getting it to exactly where we want it to be in the song. So obviously you don't want it to be just the very beginning of the song. So if you just go ahead and tap on the song right here, go to trim, you can just go ahead and keep moving this all the way until you find exactly the part in the song that you want. It can be a little tricky sometimes to get your finger there. And if you want to just preview this, just go ahead and move it to the front. Just tap on play and you can hear it just like so. So we're just gonna drag this all the way down to the 30 second marker to make sure that it's the full 30 seconds. And again, if you wanna keep previewing it, you can go ahead and tap on the play icon right there until it's exactly what you want. So once you have it exactly how you like it, go ahead and tap on the little arrow here on the top left, click on my songs and we'll save it real quick. Then you can see it right here. So they're just named my song by default. So if you go ahead and tap and hold on that, you can go ahead and rename that to whatever you want. I'm just gonna type in NCS, go ahead and click on done. And if you get this little error right here, that's fine. Just go ahead and click on cancel if you want and it will show up right there. I think the bug there with renaming is just in iOS 13 because GarageBand has not been fully updated and optimized for iOS 13. So if you get errors with renaming and things like that, don't mind it, it still works. So go ahead and tap and hold on the song that you just did. Then we wanna go ahead and do share. And then you wanna select ringtone. And if you get this message that implies that your song is over 30 seconds, that's fine. Just go and click on continue. It's probably just like barely over 30 seconds. So like I mentioned, you can rename it here as well if you want to. It seems like GarageBand is a little bit bugged out. So this may be the place to rename your ringtone if you wanna rename it. So I'm just gonna rename mine NCS and go and click on done, export, and then it will export it as a ringtone as you can see right here. Should not take very long at all. There we go, so it did export. It says ringtone export successful. And then it says use sound as, you could do it right there. Or you could just go ahead into settings. So I'm just gonna show you it in settings real quick. So let's go ahead and get out of GarageBand and go into our settings here in iOS 13. You wanna go to sounds and haptics ringtone. And then you can see your custom ringtone is right there on the top NCS. If we go ahead and tap on that. You can hear that is my ringtone right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and set that. I don't want that to keep playing, but you can see it's set as our ringtone now. And then if we go back and go to text tone, and if we go ahead and scroll down, you can see NCS is right there as well. Of course, you can make different ones for your text tones and your ringtones as well. You can kind of have one set for a ringtone and then a separate one set for your text tone. You can maybe have a different part of the song, completely different song, whatever you want. That is how you do it right there. So anyways, guys, there you have it. That is how you can set any song as your ringtone or your text tone in iOS 13 without the need of a computer or a jailbreak. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I hope you're rocking a new ringtone or a new text tone now. If you are, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and of course, make sure to subscribe for a lot more iPhone and iOS 13 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you soon.